So, welcome to the Dickie Dines Show, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We have some fun stuff planned for you today. First, I came up with an idea myself. <laughs> <Brody>. <laughs> it was all I my, all my No my one own. has ever thought of this before. Okay. Uh, do you like expensive things, Austin? Uh, I don't know. They make me cringe usually. A little bit, yeah. Because I'm the klutziest boy alive. So I see expensive, and I'm like, that's a liability. I'm a liability. That's a liability, yeah. All right, so I compiled a list here, and it's going to be a bit of a guessing game. Okay. So these are very, very expensive, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> there are. For some people, maybe not, but they, they are. Yeah, expensive instruments and uh, what they sold for. I want to see if you can kind of guess... So, oh, okay, like prices, right? So yeah, yeah, I want to see if you can guess how expensive these sold for. And you can play along with us too, Chad, if you want to. Um, so, all right, starting off, uh, and Kevin, do we have the pictures of this one ready to go? Okay, so starting off with number one, we have Kurt Cobain's MTV Unplugged Guitar. Okay. Um, there's multiple choice, or I just have to get throw a number out. <laughs> yeah, I, I no, like, like, there's no multiple choice. I, I want to see if you can kind of just guess. And so, is it when were these like, uh, uh, what is it called? Appraised. Appraised. Yeah. Like, what, um, what's like the time for? Like, is this while he was alive, or is this like recent appraisal, or like this one? I believe uh, was. Let's see. It was after he died. It got sold. But okay, anyway, um, so you know the the MTV Unplugged performance, right. Nirvana, whatever. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the mo the most iconic MTV Unplugged performances of all time. The Alice in Chains ones is really good too, but this one is probably like the most famous one. So the the uh, guitar that he used, shown in the picture here, um, can you guess how much money that guitar was sold for? Hmm. I mean, I'm guessing it's like it's a lot, but not something like un unreasonable. I'm feeling like a man. You got a big smirk when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me think it is unreasonable. Uh, hmm. Cause my heart was like three, like three hundred seventy-five thousand, but that <laughs> that face. I'm thinking like seven hundred k. Thinking seven hundred thousand? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be pissed if it's like a million. That's just absurd. Okay, so the the actual price that Kirk Cobain's MTV Unplugged guitar <laughs> sold for is eight million thirteen thousand dollars. So it is a nineteen fifty nine Martin D eighteen E acoustic guitar, and he used it for the performance in ninety three, five months before he died. <laughs> Um, Rode Microphone's founder, Peter Friedman, was uh, the one who who bought it. So shout out to him. Um, he described buying the guitar as a once in a lifetime opportunity and said he plans to take the guitar on a worldwide tour with proceeds to go to supporting the performing arts. It's pretty epic. So he probably just did a baller move and it was probably not yeah. that much. And he was like 8 million and everyone's like, fucking God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like that's fine. It just, yeah, he's he like, just Bruce Wayne. It. I own the lot that they're selling this on. Actually, <laughs> yeah, that's everything fine. here. I, mean, I own MDV on Blood. It probably so. started so small, like ten thousand dollars. He's eight million. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. Jesus, bro. <laughs> Somebody else a chance. Some kid with three thousand dollars. He's crying. <laughs> the cart was my idol. Ten million dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna take it across the world too, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go vacation with it. I'm gonna take it on dates. <laughs> Shit. All right. Uh, number two number is uh, the Reach Out to Asia Stratocaster guitar. So, this was a charity event. Um, the guitar was sold in an auction in Qatar to raise funds for Reach Out to Asia, a charity formed to help tsunami victims. Now, the guitar uh, was signed by Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, Brian May, Jimmy Page, David Gilmour, Jeff Beck, Pete Townsend, Mark Knopfler, Ray Davis, La Liam Gallagher, Ronnie Wood, Tony Iommi, Angus and Malcolm Young, Paul McCartney, Sting, Richie Blackmore, Def Leppard, and Brian Adams. So it was going to end with like, and Steve. <laughs> and <laughs> like, Steve. Yeah, Steve was there also. Yeah, and Steve Terraberry. 
Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that w- uh, yeah, so it was sold for the charity. Uh, can you guess how much this guitar sold for? Well, um, I did. I, my perspective is completely warped after the Kurt Cobain guitar because you would think <laughs> one man's guitar versus. 30 famous people's signatures and it's for a charity like that it'd be funny if it was less because the guy who bought the eight million dollar guitar was like wanting to do charity so it'd be funnier if the charity guitar got less <laughs> <laughs> not that charity <laughs> a different one different charity um hmm that's it's a lot of names behind it it's a lot of names i'm gonna say like Big. 20 million just to like upscale it 20 million 20 upscale. million yeah okay so this might put into perspective the vast like icon that Kurt Cobain was. Oh wow, it's less because it sold for three point seven million. Oh wow, which is still a fuck ton of money. Ten million. <laughs> ten, ten million. <laughs> um, yeah, the the owner of Rode microphones was not at this one. He did not. He was not there. But yeah, so this sold for three point seven million. That's funny. Which is crazy. This is just a, a ton of money. But yeah, at least it went to. Uh, help out a that's charity, wild dude the nice. current thing was double that was more than double it was almost triple but it was a million less than triple to that it's fucking crazy all right let's move on uh next one is john lennon's imagine piano oh wow um so it's a piano that john lennon used to write imagine um and i uh, assume a chord record on as well uh so how much how much do you think that one the piano sold for i'd be at least like 35 bucks i'd say at least like 35 bucks. Probably 35 75 bucks uh man look pianos are already mad expensive they can and be. if we're going off of the like bar we just set with legend status like are there fewer legends than john legend you know, john than, lennon no a legend in the john scenario legend. john legend in the scenario yeah uh but God, I don't know. Now I'm worried. <laughs> is is Kurt Cobain a bigger pop culture icon? Well, modern days, yeah, for yeah. sure. I think. Yeah, but there's got to be some fucking like 80 year old man who was like, yes, yeah, that's probably. the one. <laughs> that's the one I want. Mm, I overshot on the last one by a lot, so I, mean, I would like to overshoot again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now that dude, come on, it's that's like a piece of history. Mm, but it's probably still under the Kurt one. I'm going to say like a solid five mil. Five mil? Five mil. That's a good guess. So it was 2.7 mil. Oh, a lot less. Yeah. For sure thought it would at least be over the Asia guitar. I think I think a recurring theme here is going to be realizing just like how big mm-hmm. Kurt Cobain was. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like he's going to be the bar His legacy set. is like insane. Um Obviously, John Lennon is a, is an amazing fucking legend. Yeah, legend. But so when the piano that John Lennon used to write "Imagine" was put up for an auction, it drew the attention of a uh, a flurry of A list musicians who all bid on it. The, guess who fucking got it though? It was like a famous musician. It was Oasis. Oh, well. yeah, Noel Gallagher and Robbie Williams. That's kind of sick. Yeah, from Oasis, they uh, they bid to. Uh, or no, so they bid about like like two ish or whatever, but they were beaten by uh, George Michael. Oh no shit! Yeah. George Michael. George Michael up, got it. Floated for, it on smoke. <laughs> yeah, he I got know. it for two point seven million. Damn, <laughs> barely beat him out. That's that's it. that's cool. Yeah, fucking George Michael. Dude, I kind of would have preferred if the Oasis guys. That would have been it. sick. That I mean, you were, they were like dying funny. to do a cover <laughs> as soon as they got that. Oh, dude. Imagine <laughs> all the imagine both those people. Imagine all those imagine people. Imagine both those guys. <laughs> I wonder if they can harmonize. <laughs> okay, so now let's let's pivot from like like classic rockers Ibra, Ibra. and let's go to the McDonald Stradivarius Viola. So this is a classical instrument. Um it was crafted by Antonio Stradivari. Uh, this viola is one of the only 10 uh, intact Stradivarius violas in existence. Um, named after one of its 19th century owners, this instrument carries a lot of rich history. 
Uh, it was played by the eminent Amadeus Quartet, co-founder Peter Shidloff. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> you poor bastard. Is Shidloff, is Shidloff here? <laughs> um, anyway, so in, in 2014, it was put up for auction. Um, do you know how much they put it up for? Like, uh, so uh, like 600,000. So I just <laughs> at least 600,000. So I should uh, reiterate, it did not sell for this price, <laughs> but it was listed, but it was listed at, and I believe to this day still listed at, it just won't budge on the price. It just won't budge on it. Cause it's one of 10. And this guy is apparently like, like the fucking viola crafters. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So do you know how much it's listed for? <sighs> Got any guesses? I don't know, dude. A number. Fucking. I would like a Kurtz number to be beat someday. I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to say 12 million. 12 million? 12 million, bro. 12 million. Locking it in for this fucking viola. It's not a not a bad guess, but it was actually listed at 45 Holy million. Holy fuck. Yeah. Sheesh. Almost a big five zero. I mean, I can't believe it hasn't sold. <laughs> Right, I don't know. Like, why what... will no one buy this? <laughs> That's the weird thing about it is it's like a lot of these things. They're like if you go to the store and you buy an instrument, like if you go and just buy. Well, actually, the the guitar Kurt used is a very expensive guitar already. It's a, like a fifty nine like Martin is like very expensive, but if you go buy like an acoustic guitar or like go buy his um what was the the blue. Mm -hmm guitar that he used to use the Fe the blue fender stingray i think it was you can go buy that it was not that expensive but because there's value put on it by society <laughs> it changes it mm -hmm. so it's like i wonder what the actual value of this would be if it isn't being sold at 45 then clearly the value isn't there right yeah the market doesn't maybe agree. it's like 30 million or who knows it could be yeah like you said like 500,000 right. or something like not even that much i don't know but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that seems like you could list something for anything, mm -hmm. whether you actually right. Get it, yeah, is, you know? yeah, those ridiculous things on eBay. You see, it's like a key, a uh, tea kettle, and it's five thousand yeah. <laughs> dollars. Like, what are you doing? Is this a yeah. person you're selling? Right. What is this? Shit? Exactly. All right. Um, yeah, that's absurd, dude. Forty five million is crazy. It's, it's yeah, it's insane. Yeah, fucking, but it's got shit loft on it. It's got shit loft on it. Uh, okay, so next we have Eric Clapton's Fender Stratocaster. Um, Eric Clapton, obviously famous uh, guitar player. Um, among uh, his collection of guitars, one stands out, and he called it Blackie. It's it's a white and black guitar. Um, it's a combination of a 56 Strat body, a 57 neck, and pickups from another instrument, uh, which is funny that they don't clarify. They just say, oh, it's something else. Uh, Blackie became Clapton's favorite guitar, both in a studio and on stage, and he sold it in 2004. And he used the uh, fund the funds to uh, build a crossroads rehab center, which okay. is very noble. Um, do you know how much he sold it for? That's cool that he sold it himself too. Yeah, it's like um, his iconic guitar, right? Yeah. Um, well, he seemed to love it, but if he sold it himself, it's probably not something like crazy because he probably was like, oh, I would like this to go to somebody and I have enough for the charity. So it's, yeah. pro it's probably not like, you know, double digits, millions type shit, but it's probably like a couple mil, I'd say. A couple mil? A couple mil, maybe like, like two to three million. Two to three million. It's a good guess. So it sold for 959000 oh, Okay. Okay. $500. In the ballpark. So almost a million, just, just short of a million. <laughs> But yeah, um, nice, good shit. There was actually a few of Eric Clapton's guitars that have been sold for like about a million. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he he's definitely known for like the Strat, like the I think it's the black and white Strat, and then he I think he had a yellow one that was really popular. I don't I'm not a the the biggest historian of Eric Clapton. Mm -hmm. Funny, um, yeah, funny enough, that's actually the yellow one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't even tell. Yeah, the whole thing's black and white. Um. But yeah, so he sold a few for about a million. But yeah, this one specifically, nine hundred fifty-nine thousand. That's hot. <clears throat> All right, next, uh, Jimi <clears throat> Hendrix Fender Strat. Oh. Um. So this is the one that he used uh, for Woodstock, nineteen sixty-nine, which is arguably one of the most famous music events of all time, like ever. 
Um, I don't even think if it's arguable. I mean, it pretty much is, right? Like, ser- like le- legitimately. Um, so this is a 68 Fender Stratocaster. So at the time, it wasn't anything vintage. It was just mm-hmm. the guitar. It was just the Strat that they made that year. And right. bought it. Um, so just another Strat. But, um, yeah, so it was purchased by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen um, in 98, who then placed it at the Experience Music Project in Hendrick's hometown of Seattle. Which is really cool because because like it's just on display now. Right. So yeah. he didn't he he like bought it for money and then he was like oh, I'll give it to the people. So yeah, that's pretty that's cool. That's a baller move. Um, how, do you know how much this one sold for? Dude, if the guy from Apple bought it, it's probably a lot. Microsoft. Or I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> if the dude from Microsoft. Uh, oh yeah, I guess that is less impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably still like. A, a decent chunk. I mean, it's it's Hendrix, bro. It's Hendrix. Like, yeah. Fuck. Any guess? I want to be right though. Do you fuck it? Eight eight million. Does it say the same thing as Kurtz? The same thing as Kurtz. Yeah. Eight million. Eight million. So this one was sold for two million. Damn it. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Still, still great. It's donating a two million dollar purchase is it, nuts. It really makes you wonder if, like, is the worth of Kurt of that acoustic from Kurt really that much more than every other fucking guitar mm-hmm. legend rock star out there who sold a piece of gear? Or was it that the dude literally yeah, I think was it like, was yeah, just eight million. million. Yeah, it's I think, mine. I, I don't think give that's a what's fuck. fucking it's up mine. this whole thing. Yeah, because all the other ones seem rational so yeah. far. And then I keep trying to scale it off of Kurtz. But yeah, I think that was just a wild card. Like, yeah. all my money. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, two million, that seems that seems like a more realistic like approach to that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's a fuck ton of money. Yeah, for especially for, like thing. you said, a guitar that's not even like a fancy guitar or anything. Yeah. It just has the legacy behind it. Right. And he just gave it to a museum, right? Essentially, and was like, "Yeah, I mean, you guys can have it," which is cool. I think that's super cool. Um, all right, next up is uh, Jerry Garcia's. Uh, he has a uh, wo- uh, the Wolf guitar. Oof. Um, so Ooh. it says Jerry Garcia's favorite guitar maker, Doug Irwin, uh, had a thing for animals. His beautiful Tiger model was a huge hit with musicians for its unique design. So much so that it ended up in the New York. Uh, Metropolitan Museum and his follow-up Wolf guitar, which is this one right here, attracted even more interest when it went up for sale to... Let's see. uh, Yeah, so can you guess how much this guitar went for? Jerry Garcia's favorite uh, guitar. Um, Probably like 800,000. 800,000? Yeah. So it sold for 1.9 million. Fuck. Double yeah, it. <laughs> which is crazy because I, I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to get shit for this. I thought the Clapton one would have been. I don't more. even know who Jerry Garcia is, and he's, it sold for the, uh, about the same amount as Jimi Hendrix guitar. Be- oh yeah, good point. Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Yeah, see, I never listened to Grateful. No, he's Dead. Uh, from the don't. fucking. Uh, it's don't. He's from yeah. Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. So Jerry, <laughs> yeah, they don't they have a Jerry Garcia yeah, flavor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I never listened to Grateful Dead, but I guess that makes sense. They were a huge band, but yeah, so. I didn't realize they were $2 million for a guitar huge, but um, it's it's weird that, to me, it's weird that that's the same price about as the Jimi Hendrix guitar. Yeah, that is. Jimi Hendrix is a fucking, like, They've got, they've the got guy. big ice cream in their pockets. Yeah. Um, all right, move on. Uh, so another John Lennon piece of gear. So John Lennon's acoustic Gibson J160. Mm. Um, it's a 1962 acoustic gibson uh it disappeared back in the 60s but was found sometime later and verified as the real thing by experts yeah who are who are these experts yeah come on that's, yeah, it, that's it. definitely john lennon that's like, john it's for, for sure. sure so i uh, remember what john's guitar smelled like and that's definitely close it's definitely <laughs> worth a lot more than any other of these um he used the guitar to compose early beatles classics such as she loves you and i saw her standing there um do you know how much this one sold for? Let's see. The well, the piano was like two million, right, or something like that. Or f- 
Uh, the piano. Let me scroll back up here. Like this is see. this is like more practical of a thing to buy, but I feel like it, the piano was two point seven million. Two point seven million. So this, this is his. This is his Gibson guitar. Hmm. I feel like I mean logically, it feels like it should be less because the piano is like such a big thing, and it was in yeah. the, that video. Like Legend it has like triple iconic status. <laughs> Uh, but, the but, guitar, but the guitar seems much more practical. Like somebody would actually want to. Uh, the guitar is. Guitar is so much cooler uh, than yeah, piano. I guess so. <laughs> hmm. I think the ver- the like vague verification thing might hinder it a little bit. So I'm gonna say like like 1.6 million. 1.6. Yeah, it's actually very close. It was 2.4. Okay, but still less than the. Yeah, but not by much though. Not by much. Okay. Yeah. That's probably my closest guess. <laughs> yeah. Two point four million. <clears throat> verified also. Was it verified by the seller? It was verified by the pawn stars. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Verified this. It's like, oh yeah, it's definitely John's. That's Lincoln definitely Star. John's. That's definitely John's. <clears throat> All right, next, um, we have Eddie Van Halen's Hot for Teacher Kramer guitar. It's custom made uh, Kramer electric guitar that he played in their uh, video for Hot for Teacher. Um, it sold in April 2023, so not too long ago. Um, one of the most iconic guitars of the MTV era. Uh, the stage used and filmed guitar was custom made by Paul Ernkert of Kramer Guitars, specifically for Eddie. Um, it was sold for auction, sold at auction. Um, in New York, and how much do you think it sold for? This is legends, the legendary status. That's probably, like that's like one of the most like, iconic looking guitars. I was about it's to like say, the most recognizable yeah. guitar of all time. Like pretty much of all time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like it's like that one and Prince's guitar. <laughs> like those oh, are like the yeah, two dude. that you'd be like point them out of any lineup. One hundred percent. Um. Yeah. Prince's y- guitar is wacky. I would be shocked if this was less than five million. Yeah, I'm gonna say f- like five million is my like standard. If it's over that, I'm st- stoked. But I would be shocked honestly if it was less than that because it's just such a fucking legendary guitar. Yeah, so you're not far off. It's a little bit less. It sold for three point nine million. Okay, that's that's still pretty decent. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. that's that feels right. Feels Crazy. fine. It's a, yeah, it's a cool ass guitar, dude. I, I, as soon as this popped up, I was it made me think of the the video we just did, the guessing the song in one second mm-hmm. challenge, and the whole time, Yo. and I kept going, it's eruption, and, and <laughs> yeah. then and then I would mouth out loud, hot for teacher, the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even doing eruption the whole video. I, ke- I kept going, <laughs> and I and I, didn't, I was reading the comments, and I was like. That is the wrong song. I wasn't even. I thought it was a different song and also a different song. <laughs> that was cracking me up. Oh, oh man, <laughs> that's really funny. All right, last one for this segment. Um, another Kurt Cobain. This is Kurt Cobain's Fender Mustang guitar. Uh, that's the name I was looking for when I said Stingray. Fender Mustang. I meant to say Mustang. So, uh, his famous uh, Fender Mustang guitar, he played in Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit video in 1991, um, and it sold in May of 2022. Um, It sold at Julian's Auctions in New York as part of their Music Icons auction. Um, Billionaire Jim Ursay bought it. Uh Uh-oh. Um, and he had previously bought David Gilmore's, which I guess honorable mention, uh, David Gilmore's black strat guitar. Uh, he bought that one for 4 million, but that's a different guitar. So how much do you think he bought the Fender Mustang one for? This is, man, this sucks that it's a Kurt guitar again so it feels like the margin's already warped and it's a billionaire buying it it's yeah. like but it could be I'm 12 million yeah fuck one, one billion dollars cause like realistically I, I would imagine that would be less than the Eddie Van Halen guitar but a billionaire bought it so it's probably not it's probably like seven million it's probably a little bit less than the acoustic I'm gonna say like six to seven million six to seven yeah it sold for four point five oh uh, yeah, four point okay. five million dollars. It was estimated to sell at eight hundred thousand. Oh wow! Yeah, but then sold. Yeah, for... Final bids going once eight hundred thousand ten million. <laughs> Just a billionaire. Not again! <laughs> that kid, twenty years older. No, I've been saving my whole life. 
for part two. Just another billionaire strolls in. Ten minutes. <laughs> That's mine. Sorry, kid. Fuck you. <laughs> The poor kid. No. The same kid. Oh no. A different billionaire. That's Seriously. so funny. All right. Well, yeah. There. That's all I had. Oh, uh, yeah. I think, like I said, the surprising thing for me in looking these up was just how much value Kurt Cobain, mm-hmm. like, and like just his legacy holds. Right. To people. Yeah. You we know just I mean? yeah, all of them. It's cool to see that like most of these iconic people are like several millions in worth yeah. if, just for like an instrument that they were known for having. Like that's a pretty cool legacy to have behind. It's like you've been gone for that long and your right. shit's selling for five, eight million dollars. Well, it's like it's not even the music. It's like the story. Mm-hmm. It's like coming from like you know literally, which is weird. He fucking grew up in a town that's an hour from us. Right, like the and, and we've been there, and it is a fucking yeah. shithole. It, it, it terribly a, depressing town. His childhood home is a, a is a Pokemon gym on Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which, which I owned for like a year, so like I'm basically the shittiest best town. friend with Kurt. Okay, I got one for you at the end of this. Okay, okay. how much did uh, Courtney's shotgun sell for? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got it. <laughs> One in the chamber still. Oh How much did it go for God. at auction? If you guys like what you're seeing, then please consider going to our Patreon and giving us your money. That way we can keep the lights on, we can keep the camera guy fed, and we we'll really appreciate it. Thank you. Link in the description below. <laughs>